Say hello to the Kitty Hawk Heaviside. A working prototype for an all-electric, autonomous aircraft that could one day be an essential part of your daily commute. That's because a single-passenger eVTOL, or electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, is being specifically designed to work as a self-flying air taxi that can ferry people 60 to 100 miles in less than an hour. Yes, you heard that right. This thing is self-flying. Kitty Hawk envisions its heavy side aircraft being controlled remotely by ground operators who oversee a fleet of flying vehicles, making it easy for passengers to take short, private flights without the need of a pilot's license. It also seats just one passenger, meaning you'll never have to fight your seat neighbor for the armrest. The heavy side has eight propellers that can individually pivot from horizontal to vertical position, allowing them to be used both for propulsion and for vertical takeoff and landing. Because it can land in an area that's just 30 feet squared, it could conceivably land in open fields or on rooftop landing pads. In that way, the heavy side is a lot like a helicopter, but Kitty Hawk says it's a lot less noisy. The company claims that the heavy side is about 100 times quieter than a regular helicopter. Quieter doesn't mean slower. The company's current prototype, called the Heaviside H2, can hit speeds up to 180 miles per hour. The lightweight air taxi has a flight range of 100 miles plus reserve on a single charge, and it's an eco friendly aircraft too. The company claims it's about twice as efficient as an electric car. That's all great, but the most ambitious thing about Kitty Hawk's flying taxi might be how much it costs to actually get a ride in one. According to the company's website, the air taxi service is aiming to stay cost competitive with ride sharing apps. That means one day, you might be able to hop across town in a flying taxi for about the same price as calling an Uber. So, would you take an air taxi to work? Or are you gonna stick to taxi cabs, public transit, and commercial airlines? <laughs>